to be entered into our monthly shoutout contest, please leave a like on this video and comment your thoughts below after you've watched the entirety of the video. From the episode, Your Shoes Untied. Pat gets a new pair of shoes, but doesn't know how to tie his laces. When Spongebob offers to demonstrate lace tying to Patrick, he forgets how to do. Spongebob suffers various calamities, trying to make it through his day with his laces untied and him tripping over everything. In the end, it's Gary who reminds Spongebob how to tie his laces by teaching him a groovy song to help him remember. In the intro of this episode, right before Patrick comes over to Spongebob for help, Spongebob is seen very relaxed and quite inquisitive as to what he's watching on the TV. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. As Spongebob is a sea creature, watching other sea creatures with his expressions, followed by the embarrassed Gary shout, Spongebob was watching some explicit material by Bikini Bottom standards. From the episode Overbooked, Spongebob's got a full day, and he's determined to do everything he can schedule to do. Help fix Mr. Krabs' telescope, go to Patrick's birthday, and help with Sandy's science presentation. Too bad everything's scheduled for the exact same time. Spongebob at this point in the episode has realized how busy his night is due to not being able to say no to any of his friends. He rushes to a bakery to get Patrick a last minute birthday cake, but the only option available is not quite for a birthday. Hi, I need a birthday cake. This is what I got. Sorry about the scabies. Uh, can you change it to say happy birthday? <sighs> do you want it or not? I haven't got all night. Yeah, neither do I. Scabies is a type of skin infestation. Mites burrow and lay eggs inside of the skin, leading to a lot of itching accompanied by a rash. The joke here is that someone gave someone else scabies. This is a reference to STIs, which are transmitted during certain adult activities. The cake is apologizing for giving their partner an infection. SpongeBob adopts a stray worm, and to his surprise, the worm gives birth to some worm babies overnight. But since Gary won't play nice, SpongeBob needs to find loving homes for his new slimy, weird looking friends. SpongeBob very much so becomes attached to the worm, and shortly after giving birth, he needs to sabotage a garbage truck in order to protect the worm babies. When one of the garbage men come up to SpongeBob, there is something wrong with the garbage men. What is it? I'd recognize this goo anywhere. It comes from a baby spotted glistening meadow worm. If you missed what the mistake here is, when the garbage man, or I suppose garbage fish, walks up, he is the color blue. Then he wipes some slime off of SpongeBob's face, and then when we see him again, suddenly he is green. Once again, originally blue, but then he turns green. Maybe he's like a chameleon in that he can change to the color of whatever he comes in contact with. Well, probably not. It's very likely just a little error. From the episode Chocolate with Nuts, SpongeBob and Patrick want to make some extra cash, so they decide to sell chocolate bars door to door. They have no luck at first. In fact, they end up buying more stuff than selling stuff. That is, until they start lying to sell the chocolate. What inspires them to start lying is a billboard that they see that claims for some chips to be good, when Spongebob has in fact tasted them himself and completely disagrees with them being good. Patrick makes a comment that is kind of strange. I can't understand what we're doing wrong. I can't understand anything. There must be something to this selling game that we're just not getting. Other people do it, I mean, look at that. Eat barnacle chips, they're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious. Not the way I use them. Honestly, this one is much more so open to interpretation than some of the others, but the delivery of Patrick's comment makes it seem like it's something inappropriate as to what he does with these chips. I don't even want to know what Patrick means, to be honest. From the episode Squidville, Squidward is so sick and tired of living between Spongebob and Patrick that he decides to leave Bikini Bottom and go someplace where everyone is just like him. Squidward arrives and he loves it at first, but he soon discovers how boring everything is and how uninteresting his life is without the constant mayhem that Spongebob and Patrick provide. Crazed by the monotony, Squidward starts to act out, becoming the Spongebob of this new community. 
part of going crazy, in a sense, is that Squidward in the episode decides to play with a reef blower out in public. The other residents of Squidville who watch Squidward think it's ridiculous and childish. There is one moment in particular that to some comes off as a little uh, grown up, I guess. Miss don't know what I'm referencing? Yeah, probably. As in order to get to the supposed Joe clip, it needs to be paused at this frame, where it portrays a pretty crude thing to be doing, let alone in public. From the episode, My Pretty Seahorse, Spongebob finds a stray seahorse and adopts it. When it comes to time to go to work, Spongebob can't bear to leave him alone at home, so he takes him to work and hides him in the kitchen. When Mr. Krabs gets wind of it, he orders Spongebob to take the horse home, but Spongebob hides him instead. The seahorse keeps escaping from his hiding place and eating all of the Krabby Patties. Eventually, Spongebob is forced to come clean. When Spongebob has to start the workday, he leaves the seahorse outside of the Krusty Krab initially. A customer joyously exclaims, Hey look, Mr. Krabs put in a kitty ride. Why don't you try it out? I can't find the coin slot! Here it is! <laughs> That is not a kitty ride, it's a live seahorse. As the guy thought it was a ride though, he attempted to put a coin inside of the slot to get it going. But once again, it's a real seahorse. A female seahorse to add as well. The coin did not go into a welcome spot. SpongeBob is going to have the best day ever. First, he gets to work at the Krusty Krab. Then he is going to meet Sandy for a little karate, followed by jellyfishing with Patrick and Squidward's clarinet recital. But the day does not go exactly as planned. Each of his friends is having a problem, which SpongeBob naturally sets out to solve. But this costs him every item on his perfect agenda. When a disappointed SpongeBob realizes that his entire day has been sacrificed, his friends rally around him to give their thanks and make sure his day is really the best ever. Finally, for this one, there isn't any jokes we're looking at from the episode itself. However, this is episode 20 from season 4. Think about it. Episode 20 from season 4. We're talking about 420. April 20th, the day many fans of marijuana celebrate their lifestyle and culture. This episode is called Best Day Ever. From the episode, Gary takes a bath. It's time to give Gary a bath, but he doesn't want to take one. SpongeBob tries to lure Gary into the tub, but he refuses to go. In the end, Gary outsmarts SpongeBob by luring him outside. SpongeBob falls into the mud and ends up even dirtier than Gary ever was. Gary meows and goes back inside. One of SpongeBob's plans to get Gary to have a bath is to make everything more fun by saying that there's a secret treasure in the bathroom. SpongeBob dresses up as a pirate, has the bathroom door marked with an X where the treasure is, and even the bathtub is painted like a treasure chest. One comment SpongeBob makes is questionable though. Wow, Gary, look! A pirate treasure chest! Wow. Why, no, Gary, this isn't the bathtub. It's treasure! Look, doubloons! Don't drop them. Doubloons, SpongeBob says. When this joke clicked for me, I was honestly surprised that this was allowed by Nickelodeon to be put into a show. But hey, I guess as it took years until I was older to understand, they hit it well. In prison, it can be a scary place, and in the shower, when left exposed and vulnerable, you may need to be on alert at all times. If you drop the soap in the shower, I think you get what I'm saying. From the episode Spy Buddies, determined to uncover Plankton's next devious plot, Mr. Krab sends Spongebob and Patrick to spy on him. When Plankton sends a blimp, everything goes into panic mode. Squidward makes a comment that seems to be a reference to women's health. Is he dark? Or have I put off my cataract surgery too long? No, Mr. Krabs. It's that time of the month. Merciful Neptune! Man, your metal stations! I'm on it! The joke here is about women's menstrual cycles, where once a month, they bleed from below. As Squidward says, it's that time of the month, talking about plankton when he tries to steal the Krabby Patty formula, but as a big red blimp comes over, it certainly represents women and how they often feel bloated. 
Also another layer is Squidward diving away to hide in the bathroom, as it's a stereotype that during that time of the month, things can get very emotional, so to say. Thank you all for watching, have yourself a fantastic rest- Thank you all for watching, have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, goodbye.